Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this, a brand new day. And remember, no matter who you are, you are valid. And just to say this, I've been really, really, really listening to a lot of Glorb videos. Really, if you like rap in any form, look up Glorb. They're parody stuff, but it's great. One of them is a song about a lobster, Larry the Lobster from Spongebob. And I've been watching that a lot. That's where this is from. It's smart, smart rap. He's using their smart bars. Very, very good. The other one, of course, is the uh, Dankton Plankton one where Karen is dead and he's crying his heart out. And he says, well, we all came from the bottom. Bikinis all we know. And even though it's rotten, there's just no place like home. And that's a theme I have been thinking very loud because we're right by a main road. I have thought about for years with characters and situations like that. Where the situation is bad and terrible, but it's a part of you. It's terrible. No one should live in that sort of situation. But it's a part of you. How can you just give it up? So, it's something I've been thinking about and that really hits hard. Glorb has actually got some really, 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 really smart bars, good rhymes, good stuff. So check it out if you like music. Definitely a good thing. Remember though, it is very base. And I've been thinking about that too. I, with my conditions, don't like really base stuff. But if you want to appeal to a bunch of people and sell your albums especially, you want to appeal to as wide an audience as possible. So if you're gonna make a, a thing, like decades back when I was in the Air Force, the group Styx did a concept album about a robot in the future, well, a person who was saving the world from automation and fascism, and it was an entire science fiction concept album. You're gonna get the diehards, and you're gonna get the science fiction people, but you're gonna turn away a lot of other people. So the more niche you get, the smaller a field you're shooting for. You wanna have as wide a, a, a net as possible. Well, let's say you're a male rapper. What is common amongst half of the population of the world well, there's uh, something down below between the legs you share. And what do most people who have that dangly bit between your legs want to do with it? Yeah. So if you sing about that part of your body and what you like to do with it, you're going to appeal to a whole bunch of people that have that and want to do it too. I don't like bass stuff, but that's just my mental condition. That's smart, casting a wide net. So as much as I don't like it, when I hear rhymes and such from people like Megan the Stallion singing about her uh, genitalia, I don't really like that sort of thing. But on the other hand, you're appealing to 50% of the population. I'm a part of the target demographic and that I'm human, but yeah, so you're casting a wide net. And while it may bother me, I do understand it. And on a quick note, quick note, I watched the latest Megan Thee Stallion video. I actually like her work. I watched and listened to Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion's WAP. I thought that was freaking hysterical. Oh my God, that was an awesome and funny as hell song. Hiss by Megan Thee Stallion. That's not lighthearted, but oh my God, I was laughing out loud at some of the things she was saying. Not because it was ridiculous, but because it was smart and it was cutting. 
So, hokey smokes. Definitely a good thing there. So, now that I got that out of my system, one of the things that I wanted to talk about was this. I don't know what his feelings are about people doing his game books on channel. Because you kind of have to show how the rules and stuff are if you're going to show the game. Because the game has, each book has the rules for how things run in the beginning. But then when you get to the actual maps, the artificial intelligence is all on one page. And so showing that, like I just did, is kind of like showing, giving away everything. I mean, it's not giving it away, but I have sort of a moral ethical quandary feeling about it. So on Mike Lambeau's latest video, which is a month old, he's pumping out these books incredibly quickly. I left a message saying, uh, what are your views on people doing that? Doing a playthrough? Because if you say it's okay, then I would like to do that. So hopefully I'm going to get a, a nice answer. But if he says, no, I don't like that, then definitely I'll continue to show them off and talk about them, but I won't do a playthrough. But if he says, okay, I'm gonna be loading up what I can onto Canva or an equivalent if Canva continues to drive me nuts, if there is an equivalent, and then play it there in, in that way because they are very, very good stuff. So thumbs up on that. And on a more personal note, I had a appointment reminder on my computer and it came through on my tablet because somebody set me up with an appointment reminder. I don't know where the appointment was. I called up the clinic in panic when it first happened because I got the message at 1045 saying be there. And so I called them up and they verified that, yeah, I had an appointment somewhere. I didn't ask where or who. And then when I got there, they looked me up in the system and said, no, you're not here. So somewhere a specialty department set me up for an appointment and didn't tell me. And then I found out about it when I wasn't there. <laughs> so great. Yeah, but I've got an appointment for not this Friday, but the Friday after, uh, which is, I don't know what the hell date that is. It's the 7th of February or yeah, like right around there, 2024. So add two weeks to that and to talk about, see if there's like anything horrible happening in my body in that awful area where it's hurting in my low back on, um, in my low back. It's at my, where my ribs are, because I don't want to have A, bone cancer, B, skin cancer, C, lung cancer, D, liver cancer, C, pancreatic cancer. I don't want to have any, any, any awful thing. I don't want to have any awful thing. <laughs> Talking about awful things though. Oh, first, hopefully I'll remember this. Uh, in comments, somebody said, you know, I was listening to your cardiology story and then there was the weird cut and I'm sorry that I didn't get to hear the rest of it. Whenever you see the weird cuts like that, I just continue the video in the second half. Just a quick insert. With the uh, way I've got things, I've moved the games around. I'm trying to keep everything so that the names are visible. But that's getting hard. I need a different box. That cloth thing is nicely decorative, but it's not really all that functional. And then I've got the game books off to the side, along with a bag of dungeon that does not fit in the bag of dungeon box. Yeah, there's reasons for that. I'll show that all off. And so that's the way I've got this now. But that will change as time goes by, and I move things out and I move things in. So. Thank you very, very much. Um, now back to you, your regularly scheduled video. So when there was the weird cut, that was just a short insert because there was the whole video and then I just bumped it a little wider and put that part in. So it just continued there. The rest of the cardiology story is in the second half. So when you see a weird cut like that, that's just me adding something in because I think it's interesting to do it that way. So just watch, watch till the end or skip over it and the video will continue as normal. Thumbs up. But let's see if I can remember this. Nope, it's all gone. So it was an awful thing, perhaps, and maybe I'll remember it when I'm done. 
I wanted to talk about it too, but oh well, it's all gone. <sighs> Still though, I have gotten all confused and frightened because of, <laughs> I'm not confused and frightened. My morning is a bit waffled, but that's okay. I'm gonna spend the rest of my day doing what I have to do. I'm gonna call, I got a thing from the Veterans Administration. I need to set up a payment plan on money I owe. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to do that with the letter I got. Gotta call them and get that done. Past that, I can't really think of too much I gotta do. Hopefully I can get something else done for the channel. There have been great things. I've been playing still a lot of New Vegas and doing quite well with that. My character is now a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. So the, you still can't go up against two death claws, even at level 24 in a power armor suit. So good to know, huh? past that still thinking of all of my creative stuff and that's a good thing larry the lobster so if you are a patreon patron very soon i'm going to be putting things up here again it all depends on what's going to happen i have to talk to them about that surgery and i'm quite sure that appointment that i didn't get to was about something for the surgery so yay on that but thank you so much if you're a patreon patron you know who you are when you look in the mirror and you know that you are beautiful and awesome if you have left me a comment thumbs up thank you it is appreciated i answer as many as i can i talk about them in video if i can't talk about them in comments and they are greatly appreciated even if you know i leave no outward show that i did in fact read the comment i did thank you so much but again, I wish I could remember what it was I was going to say. It was probably not life changing, but I, I think it was amusing or at least awful. So, yay. Hopefully I'm gonna get things done. That would be good. Hopefully you can get things done and that too would be good. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side and that is indeed a very good thing. No special uh, editing today. My hands really hurt and my uh, life, age. <laughs>